today we're learning how to make this stunning animated PowerPoint presentation all the way from scratch using simple transitions that everyone can learn in PowerPoint. It's a really dynamic presentation that you can use to stun your audience and capture the attention. Let's start from a blank slide. First thing we're going to do is right click format background and we're going to add a gradient fill. At the bottom, we want to go for a light gray and then at the top, we'll go for completely white. Close the format background picture. And next, we're going to add a picture on the slide. Drag the picture in your screen. You don't have to fill it completely. We're going to position it in the center of the slide, crop, crop to shape and round the rectangle. We're going to increase the roundness entirely, crop again. And now we're going to set the crop marks so it becomes a rounded rectangle on the screen. I'm going to make it slightly smaller and then position it downwards so we have half clouds and half blue sky. Next, we want to add a PNG image with a transparent background of an airplane and you can find this one online. Increase the size and position it on top of the shape that we've created. We're going to increase the size so it kind of overlaps the borders and that looks pretty good. Now we're going to add a text box below. Let's type in welcome, select the text, center, change the font to Montserrat. We're going to make it bold, increase the font size and now we're going to give it a color, more colors and we're going to use the eyedropper tool and take a tint of the blue in the background. Right click and send to back for the text so it goes behind the airplane. Maybe increase the font size a little bit more and that looks about right. Now we're going to add some text below if you want to have some welcome text on the slide. I'm just going to add some dummy text, center it in the middle and reduce the font size by a little bit. That is our first slide. Now we want to make the transition to the next slide. And for that, we're going to duplicate the slide the welcome word we don't need, so we remove it. The text we also don't need. I'm going to hold control and scroll backwards to zoom out a little bit. Grab the airplane. We're going to increase it in size. Hold control, shift and drag the edges to scale it from the center. And then move it outside of the screen. You can hold shift to move it in horizontal or vertical lines. The shape that we've created, we're going to remove the rounded rectangle boxes and we're going to right click crop and then set the crop marks to the edge of the slide. Increase the size of your picture so it fits the screen and that is the effect that we want. Now we're going to add a text box and this could be your title of the presentation. Let's say aviation. We're going to make it white font Montserrat. We're going to use a sub font bold and increase the font size. Let's maybe try 150. That's maybe a little bit too big centered. Maybe a bit smaller. About 125 looks right. Right click format shape. We're going to add a little bit of a shadow, a drop shadow to the text. That way it's more distant with the background and it's clearer to, to read. It just have to be a little bit of a shadow and that instantly makes it more readable on the slide. What we're going to do now is a transition and we're going to add the morph transition between those two. And that way you can see how the airplane flies up and the shape adjusts itself. Here we can see that the morph takes a bit of a weird angle. It changes from rounded rectangles to entirely straight rectangles. So that makes a weird shape. We can solve that by going to the background picture Increasing it in size, right click and let's go to picture format, crop, crop to shape and let's turn on the rounded rectangle again. That might be better and I think this will kind of solve, let's put it in between, will solve the issue. So let's see if we push it now, it looks a lot better and a lot smoother, not that awkward shape. So that's the effect that we want. Now to transition to the next slide, we're going to duplicate the slide again. The airplane, we can leave it there. Let's remove the title. And here we're going to take the edges away or like take the rounded rectangle away, crop it and crop it to about half the page. 
And then also let's fit the image so it fits the half of the slide. Here we go. So we adjust the crop marks and then we shift it a little bit to the right. The plane, we're also going to position it here. Maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. I think it looks good if it overlaps a little bit. Now we're going to add some text elements to the slide. So add a rectangle. This could be your title. Change the font. Montserrat. Make it semi-bold. Increase the size. And for color, we're going for a dark blue. One more. There we go. Then let's add a subtitle font. Doesn't have to be bold. We go for one step smaller, just in italic. Your subtitle. That way you create some hierarchy between the title and the subtitle. Makes it easy to navigate and to read on the slide. Then let's add some dummy text. Change the color, reduce the font size, and let's create a copy. Maybe two or three. Position it so the wing comes in between. That always looks like it's well thought through. Position it upwards, center it in the middle, and then the plane we can position it up a little bit. Maybe let's add some elements, maybe small circles as bullet points. I like it better because you can then play around with the bullet points and not use the standard ones. Create a copy. And once more, for the bottom one. There we go. That is the second slide. And for this, we can also apply the morph transition. So a transition morph. And that way you can see that everything transitions nicely. We can see the same effect happened with the morph. So if we adjust the angles a little bit, that should reduce the effect of the morph effect. There we go, that looks better. Now let's create a duplicate of the slide for the next one. For this, we're going to grab the image and position it all the way on the right. We no longer need that. We don't need the bullet points and the title. Let's re keep one subtitle and dummy text to play around with. Position this to the side. And we're going to create some circular shapes. So insert shape and hold shift while you drag to create a perfect circle. Once you're happy with the size, you can remove the outline and create two copies. Here we go. Select the image that we put on the side. Control C, right click on the circle, format shape, picture fill, and we're going to click on clipboard. And this way we select the image on the clipboard that we just had in our Control C. You can put it tile picture as texture and that way it changes the, the size a little bit. You can do the same for the other two clipboard and then maybe play around with the settings so it's not entirely the same but the clouds shift a little bit. Same for the last one. Let's adjust the offset to let's say minus 50. There we go. That gives us a little bit of a different perspective in the slide. We're going to position the airplane to the front, so send to front, reduce the size a little bit and position it in the center of the two, the three dots. That means the airplane is now in the front. We also need to make sure that it happens or that it stays in the front on the previous slide. Now let's add some text below the circles. And for that, let's nicely arrange a line to center, put it below center it and maybe let's do some dummy text lorem ipsum we're going to reduce the font size make the text box smaller and for this we don't need that much text so let's reduce it with about half positioned nicely below maybe make this one bold and then select both text and create some copies for the second and the third circle. Grab everything together, so the circles, and you can right click group them. Do the same for the others. Control G is the shortcut. Control G, and then make sure the airplane gets sent back to the front. We're going to copy these circles, these three circles, and put them on the previous slide. Drag them downwards, hold shift, and we're going to spread them 
so they don't fly into the next slide evenly. Now we can apply the morph transition to that slide. And let's play that again. We can see the airplane nicely flies to the left, to the center of the screen, the image flies to the right, and then the three dots appear. We can also add a title of the slide that will make it more realistic. And let's give it a different wording. So um, insert title. And there we go. That's a nice third slide. And now let's make a closing slide and we're going to create a new slide. Remove everything that is on there. Let's insert the image again separately. So we're not going to copy it from previous slides, but we're going to drag it in entirely. That way the morph transition doesn't mess up with existing images in place. We're going to copy the airplane, increase the size, put it down a little bit. And let's also grab some of the text and put a thank you wording on the slide. Right click, bring the airplane to the front. Make sure it's also in the front on the other slides. And then add a transition, morph transition to the last page. This effect is not exactly what I'm looking for. I would like to have the sky fade in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the sky. I'm going to paste it on the previous slide, send it to the back, and I'm going to right click, format picture, image, transparency, and I'm gonna put, put the transparency to 100%. And this way, I think if we go to morph, and we apply the morph transition, that it will nicely fade and this gives a more clean transition in my opinion. Now it's time for some of the final touches. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an animation on this part here. We're going to animation step and the grow and shrink animation. Open the animation pane, effect options, and let's put this on 125. Timing, it can take about two seconds and it doesn't have to repeat until the end of the slide. And now let's preview the entire presentation from the beginning. And now you know how to make this beautiful animated aviation presentation with all of its transitions, including Morph in PowerPoint all the way from scratch. And this gives a really nice dynamic presentation that you could use to stun your audience. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please look at the video on the screen right now.